live from Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering ZertoCon 2018. Brought to you by Zerto. This is theCUBE, I'm Paul Gillen. We're here at ZertoCon in Boston, the final day of ZertoCon. A beautiful day in Boston and a large crowd still here for the event, Zerto's user event. And with me is uh, Ziv Kadem, who is the CEO of Zerto and the founder of Zerto. And uh, this must be a thrill for you, being here with all of these uh, customers, having seen this from the ground up. Uh, what are you taking, taking back from the, this experience this week? So the, this experience is great because it gives us an opportunity to directly interact with our customers, give them a lot of, uh, a lot of content, educate them, and get feedback, which is important, right? So I really... I really enjoy it. Sorry, we had an advisory board uh, with a really good attendance. Several companies in the large, high part of the Fortune 500. Yeah. And I think what is one of the things. This is our third event this year. So they are saying, well, they like that some of our announcements this year are the things that we discussed in advisory board of last year and the year before that. So we like to listen because at the end of the day, our customers know know their needs much better than. We can, uh, we they can come guess here. They, they see their feedback to you come to fruition in in your latest products. So, what are you taking away? Are there one or two sort of big uh, issues that you're taking away from your interactions this week? So, one of the things that we're seeing that everyone is going through the transformation. We've started talking about it this year, and it's exactly what they're doing. All the customers are going through transformation, digital transformation, business transformation, IT transformation. So these things are really top of mind for them, and they're all trying to figure out how they do it. They are trying to figure out how to adapt cloud. They all have cloud initiatives. They all know that they are underutilizing the, uh, the public cloud. And they also realize that they need a hybrid approach. It's not a one-size-fits-all. So we are really hearing that from many customers and how that can relate to their uh, to their needs of what they need today, but also on the off into their plans of the things they are building over the next two, three, four, five years. And what role do you see Zerto play, playing in enabling this digital transformation? So really one of the things that you need to transform is, uh, is resilience. And one of our big announcements in this year is the IT resilience platform. You need your IT to be resilient. You need because it, it and it goes beyond what it used to be. Thinking, people were thinking about resilience as, okay, if something external hits me, if I'm hit by a hurricane or an earthquake. Uh, but now they also have other things, other bad things, like uh, ransomware, like uh, all, all of the security things. Right. But what they've really figured out is that if their IT is not resilient, then when they try to disrupt themselves, when they are trying to transform, they have new business models, new competition, new technologies, right? So everyone is transforming and you have to, they have to reinvent themselves and IT is playing a very key role in that, especially in the world today with the so high customer expectations. Customer expectations are getting higher and higher, so they need to supply that to their customers, so they need to transform. Now, if your IT is not resilient, that solves you. Like everything just stays in, in place because you know that anything that you will move will break something else. And when you want to go and move more into in, into things like uh, like cloud, like new technologies, you want to change, we see tons of uh, merchants and acquisitions, right? So that drives a lot of consolidations, uh, data center consolidations, migrations. And they really understand now that if their IT is resilient enough, then they can do these things. They can just decide to do these things and follow where the business wants them, uh, wants them, right? So they can deliver this top end customer experience, increase their revenue, deliver top line saving for, uh, bottom line savings, I mean, for their uh, companies. And if not, then they're always the ones that people are waiting for. So IT is now has their higher expectations from IT. IT is expected to be in the front seat, driving this uh, customer experience, not in the in the back seat getting, uh, getting orders and always saying, okay, uh, we cannot do that, we need to wait. So they have these expectations. It's, it's a great opportunity for, for IT. They can be much more strategic in the business, but they need to build a very resilient uh, infrastructure. And we see Zerto as a tool enabling them. This is a platform that they can build the resilience. So really that announcement was that they have 
one platform that is simple, scalable, and covers all of your resilience needs. So you don't need to have disparate tools, this one for DR, this one for backup, this one for migration, this one for orchestration. No, everything comes in one platform, fully API, fully automated, right? So they know they are protected, and they can focus on uh, basically on generating business, not hand-holding infrastructure. And you've been focusing a lot on convergence, I know, over the last year. Uh, how is that coming to fruition in the latest version of Zerto? So this is something we're, we're implementing in every version. We're putting more of the convergence stuff, but we made a very big announcement of uh, what we call Zerto 7. We're in 7, we're on 6 now, and that version will be available in Q1 of 2019. And this version will take care, the big thing in this version is it will take care of the entire lifespan of, the, of uh, the data. So if you need something to be available, if now you had a problem, you want to recover from five seconds ago, seven seconds ago, but if you now have some discovery request, a request coming from your legal department, and you need to be able to recover these things years ago. So this is our messaging around 0 to 7, so we're saying 7 seconds or 7 years, all in one platform. So really putting this continuous uh, thing that we've already been great at, right? Continuous data protection, Zerto is practically the world's leading product on that. But now say, okay, now also take it on the back end, and how do you retain this data for a very long time in an efficient way? So you can use it, put it on a much cheaper storage so you don't need because cost reduction is a, is a top priority for I would say every CIO today. Mm -hmm. as, as you look forward it seems that there's a lot of activity right now in information governance data catalogs companies really getting a handle on what information they have partially driven by regulations how do you see Zerto's role evolving in, in that aspect of helping organizations just understand what their data landscape is? So this is this is exactly, exactly what we're, we're talking about. It's all about cataloging, knowing when they have it, how long they have it, and giving them the right, the right tool to have it all in one place. Right? Usually the real problem is not that they don't know any specific detail, it's just that it's scattered across different applications, different tools, different systems. These systems don't talk to each other, and when they do, this is sort of... When you, when you lump a bunch of tools together, it always looks like a bunch of tools mm -hmm. lumped together. Right. <laughs> and, uh, right. You cannot hide it, right? I mean, uh, and putting it all in one centralized thing and to solve their needs, right? To talk about what they need rather than the concepts they had before of uh, DR, backup, migration, automation, separate tools. So that really messes up everything. Where this relates, okay, you have a workload, you know that, you know how it's protected, you can, you can control how long do you retain this data, right? Because it's just as important as it is for organizations to keep their data. It's also important for them to know, okay, once I don't need if this is data for three years, I do not want to have this data after five and four years because they need to know where it is, right? Otherwise, they're in a, they have a risk of having data that they don't know about, right? So they want to have very clear rules and have something that they'll know that this is exactly what they have. Not less, but also not more. As you look forward, one of the jobs of the CEO is to define a vision. Where is Zerto going? You look out over the next three years or so, where is Zerto going? So we have defined in Zerto, uh, our mission statement is building a world of uninterrupted IT, or uninterrupted technology. IT is the center of this technology. And, and this is still been, right, this has been with us for many years, and that is still where we're driving. And what we're, when we're looking out two, three years, it's all about the convergence of all the IT resilience into this one platform. This is where we see, this is what we hear from our customers. Our customers are excited to get this uh, all together because no one likes managing tools. I mean, I've just been in a meeting with a, an extremely large customer. Mm -hmm. And they're building, they're saying, okay, we need to see how that maps into my business objectives. Uh, we've just made a huge acquisition, we've got another huge one on the way, and everything, I want to have something which I know how that works, so I can go to my board and say, this is what we have, this is how we're protected, this, uh, this is our, my risk assessment, and I am absolutely confident that anything there will meet the SLA. I'm not depending on 500 people to be doing disparate things, and uh, 
and say, okay, if all of them do the right thing, we'll be, we'll be resilient, right? So we need to know, okay, we're doing this, and it will work. That is the definition of resilience for us. Uh, would you say that the resilience message, are the customers have internalized this, do they understand it well, and are they ready to take it back to their business? Absolutely, absolutely. This is. I wouldn't say that they internalized it. I think that we internalized that, right? We got that from the customers, right? So calling it the IT resilience, right? This, this is something, it's uh, like Gartner was part of it, the drivers of that, but how do they get it? By talking from the customers. But if you look at the concepts, these were already things that the customers needed, right? It's just when we say, and I start saying, okay, this is exactly the initiatives that we have, and this is what we need to do. And we're trying to figure out how to do. We've got all of these high-level initiatives, and now we need to see how we can actually take them into action. So this message is very well. We're seeing it very well aligned with our customers. It's a clear mission, clearly defined. Ziv Kedem, thanks very much for joining us on the queue. Thank you very much. We're here at Zertalcon 2018 in Boston. I'm Paul Gellin. This is the queue.